to a all day what is up everybody welcome back to another episode of 2a all day uh this is an episode about armor all right so i'm not here to tell you which one is better um that is completely subjective in my opinion some people might agree some people might think that um ceramic is better some people that might think that steel is better i think more people probably will think that ceramic is better uh, honestly, there's pros and cons to both, so I'm just going to let you decide on your own. Some people, again, for clickbait, uh, want to tell you which one is better, uh, but they don't really give you, in my opinion, substantial reasons why one is better. It's I feel like it's better in their opinion. So we're just going to go over the uh, statistics and kind of the, the specs for each, and then you come to your own conclusion, right? Free country, I'm not going to tell you what to do or what not to do. Uh, so let's get into it here. So uh, I do have Hesco 210s. Uh, and then here, this is um, uh, tactical. These are uh, 500 steel plates uh, with anti-spalling. This is from uh, tactical scorpion gear. Um, so let's get into it, okay? So we've got ceramic here and we have AR500 steel. Uh, right off the bat, they are both level three. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, uh, I don't know if you're even going to be able to see, but anyways, here, I'll bring that up. You can kind of look at the stats there. Um, if you can even see it, there we go. Hesco's, um, this, these are also level three here, guys. So I'm going to bring that up level three. Okay. Some stats there. Um, so both I, NIJ level three, uh, the warranty on the Hesco's is five years. The warranty on the uh, Tactical Scorpion Gear AR500 is 20 years. Um, so a shelf life of 20, a shelf life of five. Um, uh, what else here? Um, if we look at the weight, if we come down to the weight here, Guys probably aren't going to be able to see that too well. I'm going to try to have it here. Oh, come on. There we go. So if we go here, we're looking at like 5.7 to 5, uh, yeah, 5, 5 pounds, 7 ounces, 5 pounds, 8 ounces per plate. And then these, I already did this before, guys. Um, this scale only goes up to seven pounds and this errors out. So these are, I don't know the exact, if I had to guess, I would say they're at least eight pounds a piece. Um, so these are definitely heavier um, than the Hesco's. Um, so take that into consideration here. Um, but the Hesco's have a shorter warranty than the steel. Okay. Um, another thing though is, um, although ceramic are, um, are lighter, um, and, and they're typically a little bit more comfortable. Um, they're not, they can't hold up to as many shots. Again, I don't know the specific numbers. Um, Hesco has, you know, all that information on their website. Um, for most rounds, it's usually like th three to six, um, hits, uh, with different rounds. The highest round that this one is rated up to is a 762 by 39 armor piercing. Um, and uh, so that can stop one round before it comes becomes compromised. Uh, but other rounds, it, they say it can stop up to six before really starting to lose its integrity. Um, the steel um, can withstand a lot more shots, guys. That's why there's steel targets and not ceramic targets, right? You can buy AR-500 steel targets because you can shoot them dozens upon dozens upon dozens of times before you know they, they start to really break down and become too dented and compromised before you have to get another one. You will not be able to shoot uh, any ceramic plate, uh, even the best ones on the market that are like 2,500 bucks a piece or whatever. You can't even shoot those you know, 30, 40, 50 times with rifles um, like you could with AR, uh, AR 500 steel. So be aware of that. This is heavier. 
um, and it's a, you know it's a little bit more durable and it can withstand more shots uh, before breaking down as compared to the ceramic. All right. Uh, I'm not necessarily saying that this is a must, but it is more durable. Objectively, it, it can take more shots than ceramic. Uh, okay, with ceramic though, um, you do kind of have the, it's kind of a two in one here. So let me explain. For ceramic, not only do you have the bullet stopping capabilities of the steel, um, but it's also going to absorb any type of um, fractioning of that projectile. Um, so it's going to be able to capture um, the little bits and pieces that are fragmenting off from that projectile. Whereas the steel, well, if brass or steel hits steel, it's going to shatter and it's going to spread up, down, left, and right. Uh, and you can still get seriously injured or even killed from the spalling um, or the fragmentation of those rounds. So with steel, what I highly recommend is getting ballistic sleeves. So these are from Spartan Armor Systems. I just got it from them. Um, I'm not saying these are good. I'm not sponsored by them at all. Um, uh, you know, I'm not saying that these are the best, I, I should say. Um, they are good. Um, but I'm not saying they're the best. This is just what I got. Uh, and this is something that the AR-500 would slip into. And this will protect you from that spall, guys. This is going to protect you from that fragmentation. Uh, but this is something that you have to buy on top of the steel plate. This, it's all in one. Um, the bullet's going to enter here. Uh, it's going to kind of break apart inside, so you actually don't have to worry about a sleeve for this. Um, ceramic plates are typically going to be, you know, per plate or per set, they are going to be more than steel, um, but that's really only because you're, it's basically the plate and the ballistic sleeve in one, whereas these are going to be cheaper per unit um, than the ceramic, but it's highly recommended, almost necessary in my opinion, to get the ballistic sleeve. So when you take into account purchase of the ballistic sleeves, these are pretty much the same. Uh, now, steel plates are only going to be so much, guys. Um, they're only going to be, you know, probably, a, a, you know, three, four hundred bucks a piece, maybe five hundred dollars a piece at the most, whereas ceramic plates can go upwards of like 800 to a thousand dollars maybe even twelve hundred dollars a piece not a set a piece um so uh just be aware of that um you know there are some definitely high quality uh ceramic plates out there uh, but even the highest end ceramic plates might not be able to take as many hits as steel plates that might only be half the cost um, so again, just weigh out your options. Now for both, I recommend, and I have Spartan Armor Systems non-ballistic trauma pad. For both, I recommend a trauma pad. So this would go between your body and the plate. So if we're here, all right, so this would be the front part of my plate carrier. You've got the plate here. And then you have the ballistic pad. And this pad is just to sit in between the plate and your body, um, not only to absorb some of that kinetic energy, um, but also for overall comfort. So this is almost feels like a memory foam material. I don't actually know the material. Uh, I probably should have done my research. Um, but if you know what it is, leave a comment down below. Um, but yeah, it's just more of a protective uh material when it comes to ballistic energy, dispersing that ballistic energy, and then also comfort. So you're going to have, in my opinion, I would get this for, uh, for both, uh, a, uh, a set of ceramic and steel, uh, because even though this one is a little bit softer than the steel, it's still not comfortable. And so I would recommend these non-ballistic trauma pads, um, to put in between them anyways. Uh, what else? What else? Um, I don't know, guys. That's probably about it. This was my first set of plates, and then I graduated up to this. So these are the ones I'm currently running now. Um, 
So right now, um, my preferred is ceramic, uh, but I still have these steel for a reason, guys. Uh, and I plan on getting another plate carrier and I plan on putting these steel in them. Now, maybe eventually I'll graduate to uh, another set of ceramic, but I do like the fact that these can stop more bullets, theoretically, uh, than these can before they become compromised. So that's why I've been keeping them around. Uh, and again, um, if you're on a budget, um, these might be a little bit cheaper uh, compared to some versions of ceramic. This right here that I have, and these are virtually the same price, but again, Hesco's, I mean, you look at like the 3,800 Hesco's, uh, and those are, those are between one and $2,000. Um, and that's all, that would be a lot more. That would be like two to three times what I paid for all this stuff. Uh, so just be aware of that guys. Again, this, this video is not to tell you ceramic is better or steel is better. Um, this is just subjectively what I'm seeing. And then, and then I'm pointing out objectively, um, specs and, and stats for, for both the ceramic and steel as well. Um, before I head out, one thing, guys, uh, good news and bad news. The good news is that finally someone got back to me and uh, I'm, I'm finally going to be giving away that Arcteryx hoodie and the hat. The bad news, though, no more assistant. Um, so I'm sure I'm at about 170 subscribers right now. I'm sure that uh, subscriber count will go down to about seven. Um, uh, but guys, I'm going to see if I can get her in some other videos, maybe some shooting videos, <gasps> foreshadowing. I don't know. Um, so maybe don't, uh, subs unsubscribe immediately because, uh, sexy assistant lady might be in other videos in the future. So just be aware of that. Um, but you might not be seeing her as frequently as you have been in the last month or so. Uh, okay. So there we go, guys. Hesco L210s, uh, Tactical Scorpion gear, AR500 steel. Make up your own decision, guys. I don't really care what you get. Do your research. At the end of the day, that's all that matters is do your research. Find what works for you. Get trained with it. That's all I have to say. All right. If you found this video entertaining and educational, please consider subscribing if you're not already. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If I fucked up, if I said anything wrong, or if I'm just an idiot, you think I'm an idiot, you think I suck, uh, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Uh, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.